right here with the Sienna Stallion sophomore division Super Bowl champions. They are one game away from Let's getting us back freshman. to the Super Bowl. How y'all guys doing? Good. Last year you won it as freshmen. How hard has it been this year to try to get back to the Super Bowl? Talk to me, Josh. We have a whole bunch of teams that's waiting to kill us. Our Fred Canyon got hit today by number one on the Broncos, okay. and now we're trying to fight back to get them. Okay, Kobe, a tough game. You won the game 6-0. to zero. The Packers may feel that by only scoring six points that they can beat y'all. What are y'all going to work on this weekend in practice? We might work on, like, run the ball more or, like, 20 minutes of offense every day. Okay, Josh, a big game coming up. What do y'all have to do? You're one game away from the Super Bowl. Has it really sunk in your head yet? And what do you have to do coming into this week, getting ready for practice for the Packers? We got to hit, we got to get our blocks on, and we got to um, throw it. Real quick, Kobe, you're known as the man with speed. Trust me, they're going to be watching. They're going to be watching every move that you make on film this week. Are y'all good enough to get back to the Super Bowl and possibly win it? Yeah, I can still run the ball. Stallions, are they the best team here in Fort Bend, sophomore division? Yes. Guaranteed? Yes. Who wins the game next week, Packers or Stallions? Stallions. Who goes to the Super Bowl? Packers or Stallions? Stallions. Y'all going to guarantee that? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. 20 to zero. Oh, oh, and he even predicted the score. To zero. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right here. Stallions to the Super Bowl. We'll find out. Thanks, guys. Of the 2010 Sienna Stallions, a tough burn burner today. Six to zero. Defense has to step up. I'm not sure if the offense was clicking or what. I wasn't there. But talk about, talk about it, Larry. One game away from the Super Bowl. Has it sunk in yet? Oh, man, it sunk in last year. Okay, I've been there. Right. I know what we got to do to get there. Okay. We just got to do it. I mean, it's a difference. It's a difference when a kid knows he can lose and go back and play next week. Okay. When he knows he'll lose and he can't play the next week, it's a totally different kid. And that's what we've seen today, kids that didn't want to go home. So, yeah, we got to bring our A game, man. Never have you had a game since you've been Seattle Stallion, since you've been Super Bowl champions, where you only put up six points on the board. I mean, did that open your minds and, and bring y'all back down to reality? Only scoring six points is going to make you even hungry for next week. Well, I mean, it wasn't a reality thing. What, what let me know is offense win games, which that six points won the game for us. Defense, Defense wins championship. championship. That's right. That's so right. We stopped them from scoring. So that's what it's all about. You sit up at night, you study teams, you study defenses, you watch NFL games studying defenses. Why do everybody say defense wins championships? What's so important about defense? Because even if you just score three points, or if you get two points, a safety at two points, you don't let the other team, the team score, guess what? You they win. Don't win. That's right. That's right. Two nothing is a win. That's a win. That's right. <laughs> when the clock in the fourth quarter hits zero, 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 two nothing is Who's a win. Who's ever up wins the game. That's okay. right. Going into this week, you're playing against the Packers. I'm not sure if you played them this year. I know you scrimmaged them. Yeah. Not sure if you played them this year. Where is going out that the Packers feel that they're going to come in because they only score six points and they're going to run through the Stallions? Do you even let that bother you or do you focus on what you have to do? Hey, yeah. If they're smart, they're not going to think that way. And I know the coaches over there are not going to let them think that way. He's okay. a good coach. I know him. He's a friend of mine. And I know he's going to have him prepared. I don't, I don't, you know, that's just kids talking, parents talking. Okay. When he get out there and play the, play the game, he knows it's still the Stallions from last year. Right, right. That's right. He's still a Super Bowl champion. He knows that. How hard coming into this year? You know you was going to have a chip on your shoulder, an uh, X. Everybody's going to have Stallions on their schedule. Now it's in the playoffs. Why is everybody aiming at the Stallions so hard? Do they got something that you all want? And do y'all have something that you don't want to give up? <laughs> the championship, man. <laughs> the bragging rights. I mean, hey, you know, when you win it all and you go undefeated, you know, the Steers, I heard they lost today. But they did. They won that. They won that win with a badge of honor. Right. And that gave a lot of teams hope. Okay. You know, so we have to go out there and we got to let them know, no, no. One game don't define who this team is. Right, right. It's who's finishing the end. Okay. And okay. that's what we're going to do. When it's all said and done this week, who are you depending on defensive-wise? I just talk about today. Who stepped up on the defensive side of the ball today? Because it looked like it was a defensive game. Oh yeah, hey, I got to give it to the whole team. I just can't give it to one person. Everybody contributed and everybody played their part, and we pulled this thing off, man. When yeah. all else failed, those guys came, those kids came out there, man, and they gave it their all, and I'm proud of them. So I give a team ball to everybody on that defense. And here with the defensive coordinator of the Seattle Stallions, he has invited me into his home. It's going to put me out right after this interview. That's right. You ain't getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but real quick now, going into this week, Larry, 
what's what's on your mind? I see you're already studying film. I'm not going to show it, but right now I'll just go to this TV real quick. Show you already got the film and everything up. What do you have to do to make sure for the next 40 minutes of football that you got left to play to get your team back into your second consecutive Super Bowl? Well, everybody got to remember the fundamentals. That I'm going to preach fundamentals the whole week. Okay. Because we play a team that's very fundamentally sound. Okay. They, they coach very well. They block well. They do a lot of things well. And if we come in and we match that, it's going to be a good game. Okay. And, I mean, it's, it, it, you know, if you're not fundamentally sound, this team is going to beat you. That's right. Athleticism not going to get it at this level when you got coaches that, that's pretty pretty smart over there like they are. So we got to come in fundamentally sound with the athleticism. At this level, the playoffs, it's either win or go home. There's, like you say, you take athleticism out. Is it all about coaching from that point? It's about coaching, man. You got to adjust. You know, when things happen, you got to adjust. So it's all on you the coaches. You cannot panic. You got to adjust. You got to believe in your kids. They got you there. You got to believe in them. And, you know, you're right about that. I was at the game doing the Saints and the Broncos, and in halftime the Saints were leading, and Reuben Muhammad adjusted, and his team ended up victorious going yeah. to the, the fourth round. How much is it on the coach versus the kids? Because you can only teach these kids so much, they got to go out and do it. But you got to make them believe that they can do it. Okay. I mean, they come on the sideline with their head down. You got to let them know, hey, man, it's still six, what, it's 30, 32 minutes in this game. Okay. It's not over with. Okay. One play don't define the whole game or define how you're going to play the rest of the game. And that's you got to come out, block that. That's why parents wonder why I holler at them and get on them the way I do because not only do you see playoffs, not only do you have to be physically tough, you have to be mentally tough. Correct. That's true. And that's, that's what true. a lot of parents don't understand. They hear, they hear coaches hollering at their kids and this and that, and they're wondering why. They have to be mentally tough. You're right. You're right. When they make a mistake, they got to move on and get ready for the next one. Because if they don't, they're going to continue to make that mistake. So, I mean, it's very important that the coach, get, you know, you got to reach that kid somehow. You got to reach him. You got 11 games or 10 games to reach this kid. That's right. If you don't know how to do it by now, then it ain't going to work. 32 minutes of football for the right to go back. To your second minutes, consecutive minutes. Super Bowl. Larry Owens as the defensive coordinator. How are you feeling yourself? I'm feeling good, man. I mean, we've been there. A lot of us been there. A lot of kids on there been there. We know what it takes to get there. We just got to go out and do it, man. We got to go out and do it. Real quick before we leave, who wins the game Saturday? Saturday, hey, Packers. Hey, I'm a confident man. I'm going to win this game. We all going to win. Kobe said 20 to 0. Do you care what the score is, whether it's 2 0? If it's 2 0, you happy. We won. Ladies and gentlemen, the defensive coordinator of the Sienna Stallions, Dr. Larry JY, Mr. Bird. 85! Hey, you say you a DJ Larry? Give me, give me, give me your give me your number or something, a website or something? Uh me and my cuz.com. Spell that. You know some, you know my people can't spell. Me, M-E. Okay. A-N-D. All right. My M Y. Okay. Cuz C U Z. Okay. Dot com. Ebonics style. Ebonics. What's your phone number? Don't give them that because you know you have people calling you all the time and night getting you in trouble. Yeah, you're right. That's all, all right. right. Get 832 524 0986. Me and my cousin. 832 524 0986. Me and my cousin.com. He DJs weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, divorces. I also do last child support payment for <laughs> That's Larry Orange, defensive coordinator. Kobe said 20 to 0. We'll find out. Thank Peace. you, Doc.